Irrigated agriculture is the largest sector of groundwater use in the country, consuming about three quarters of the 83 billion gallons of groundwater that are pumped daily. This groundwater is obtained by pumping nearly 400,000 irrigation wells. Most groundwater withdrawals come from a small number of prominent aquifers. Because the rate of these withdrawals now surpasses the rate of groundwater recharge, these aquifers are in overdraft. This has devastating consequences for the many communities that rely upon groundwater for their livelihood. The Columbia River Basalt Group, or CRBG, within which the four counties of the Columbia Basin Groundwater Management Area lie, is the primary source of groundwater in the Columbia Basin. The CRBG aquifer system covers 60,000 square miles in the states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, and comprises over 300 basalt flows that were deposited millions of years ago. These basalt flows are grouped into major formations known as the Grand Ronde, the Wanapum, and the Saddle Mountain. Each of these formations is itself comprised of many individual basalt flow zones, some of which cover literally thousands of square miles. But how does a prolific aquifer form underground within solid, crystalline rock? As a lava flow cools, it forms a very dense, crystalline interior. As gases escape the cooling flow, the lava flow forms a more porous, textured material referred to as vesicular basalt aptly called flow tops or basalt interflow zones, these porous materials form aquifers sandwiched between each dense basalt flow interior. This is where irrigation and other wells draw their water from. In the Columbia River basalts, these aquifers can be very prolific. However, very little water can move between the aquifers because of the dense basalt flow interiors. To date, the Guama and its leading geological consultants, GSI, have mapped over 30 major flow top aquifers in the region. Here is shown a simplified depiction of the deep and shallow Grand Ronde and the deep and shallow Wanapum formations. In 2010 alone, the Guama and its consultants collected geochemistry samples from over 500 wells including a large number of the 2,500 agricultural wells that are in use throughout the region. Analysis of common chemical isotopes from these samples, such as carbon-14 and tritium, can be used to estimate and then map the age of the groundwater. Here, color is used to depict the relative age of the water obtained from the sampled wells. Although the ages range from quite young to very old, it is evident that most of the water throughout the area is very old and is not recharged by young water under present day conditions. Given the reliance of the agricultural economy on groundwater, the implications of declining resources are abundantly clear. However, implications for the broader economy should not be underestimated, because groundwater is also the primary source of water for both industrial and municipal purposes. The Columbia Basin Groundwater Management Area encompasses 25 cities with estimated populations of over 200,000 people. Water levels in many of the city wells throughout the Guama have exhibited the same precipitous declines as irrigation and municipal wells since they draw from the same limited resources. The Guama has made a concerted effort to sample all municipal wells throughout the region. By combining information about the distribution of the aquifer layers and details about well construction, 
we can map the wells in the vicinity of each city and the aquifers from which they draw water. We have observed that throughout the area of the Guama, 23 of the 25 cities evaluated are pumping primarily old water that has not been recharged in thousands of years. A critical step in quantifying the locations and sources of groundwater and developing solutions for the future is the development of a mathematical model of the aquifers and the groundwater that they contain. The Guama has enlisted the help of specialized groundwater consultants who have tackled similar problems in the United States and overseas. The Guama has for several years supported the construction and application of a mathematical groundwater model of the four county area. The model was developed by internationally recognized leaders in the simulation of groundwater using highly specialized software written by their own experts, together with specialists at the United States Geological Survey and other organizations. The four counties of the Guama are not alone in their struggle to manage limited water resources in a sustainable yet economically beneficial manner. Guama is actively collaborating with world-leading groundwater experts to provide a framework for decision makers to develop solutions to the problem of limited water resources in the four-county area.